DJ Do with Achieve Peak, and today we're gonna to be doing a 30 minute full body dumbbell workout. For this workout, we're gonna do 28 exercises performed in supersets. We're gonna do 14 resistance training exercises and 14 cardio movements. We're gonna do two sets of each superset. Our working time is 20 seconds, our break time is 10 seconds. In between the different groups of supersets, we will then take a 20 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button and let's get to work. All right, we have about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you want, you can, uh, and you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. For our warm up, we're just gonna do six exercises, 30 seconds on uh, for each of them, no break in between. Our first one we're gonna go into is alternating forward lunge. So we'll get some space in front of you. We're gonna drop out, come back, switch legs. There we go. So first, just kind of drop a little bit, let those knees warm up, those quads warm up, and then as we get deeper into our working time, we can stop, start dropping lower and lower. Just make sure when you drop down, you're not bringing that knee all the way down and hitting the ground, especially if you have hard floors. We have tile in here, so that would hurt, so don't do that. A couple seconds, we're going to go in to down dog with calf raises. There we go. So. Just drop down in the down dog position. And then what I like to do here is actually kind of alternate pushing my heels into the ground with my squeaky shoes. There we go. So push down, stretch out those calves. This is going to help us have a little bit more mobility for our squats coming up. We're going to stand up after this for some alternating hip flexor stretching. Here we go, so we're gonna stand up, get our feet nice and wide, turn to one side, keep that back leg nice and straight or semi-straight, come down, come back up. Try to sink your hip forward in that heel, feel the hip stretcher or hip flexor stretch out. There we go. There we go. Woo! It's my favorite stretch. I need it. Come on. Let's get one more. We're going to drop down on the ground for push-ups. If you want, you can do push-ups on your knees like this. Just nice and easy. Come down. You can take a little break. Just trying to warm everything up. When you feel comfortable, if you can, then you can do them on your toes. There we go. Feeling good. You can do a couple on your toes. Drop back down to the knees. We're going to stand up after this for Y raises. There we go. So... You don't actually need any dumbbells. We're just going to come up, pull those hands back, come back down. I actually like to kind of cross over. I alternate. Feel it stretch out my back as I bring my chest and shoulders, everything back here, opening it up. Then you can kind of drop a little lower to some chest openers. Bring it across, stretch the back. Woo, it's warming up. We go. We're going to go alternating toe touches. So what we do is come down, back up, come down, back up. When we're doing this at first, keep your back, lower back nice and straight. And then we'll start going into actually bending our back. So kind of telling our back what we're about to be doing. If you want, you could also as you come up, put those hands up, come back, hands up. One more. There we go. Now it's time to get to work. All right, we got about 30 seconds until we can start with our workout. If you haven't started your fitness tracking watch yet, be sure to do so. For this workout, I'm just going to be using a single pair of dumbbells. I have 25 pounds. Uh, it's going to be tougher for some. Shoulders can be tougher. Uh, other ones can be a little bit easier when we get the legs back, but we're going to roll through it. You also may need a mat. So let's grab our dumbbells, get some space uh, behind you. Actually, we're going to go into reverse lunge and then skip hop. So here we go. Grab your dumbbells. We're going to step back, come up, back, come up. If you have a tendency to drop your knee and hit the ground, then make sure you have a mat where your knee lands so you don't bang your kneecap on the ground because that would hurt. Here we go. All right, 10 seconds. And then we're going to go in to skip hop. So for skip hops, it's like we're skipping, 
but we're just staying in place low impact. We're just getting up into a calf raise. Here we go. Keep those arms nice and controlled. We don't want to be doing this. We won't have gumby arms. We got athlete arms. Here we go. Oh. Keep those heels off the ground. Here we go. Going back into reverse lunges. Do some space behind you. Here we go. Dropping out. Coming back. Dropping out. Coming back. Come on. Keep pushing. Woo! Start feeling those legs catch on fire. Here we go back in to skip hops. A couple seconds. Come on. Let's go. Drive those knees up. Let's go. Come on. Almost finished with this one. There we go. 20 second break. And then we're going in to bit over rows and modified burpees. So for modified burpees, we're not actually going to do the push up part. So, bit over rows. Slide through the knees, bending at the hips, palms facing our leg, pull it up, come back down. Boom, boom, just like this. If maybe it's a little bit too heavy, then you can alternate left and right. If it's too tough on your back, go to a split stance like this, and one set do left, next set do right. Here we go. We're going to modify burpee, so dropping down. Coming up, jump. If you can't do the jump, that's fine. Put your hands up, get the calf raise. Here we go. Drop down. Come on. Oh yeah. You know how we're gonna Come on. Tap and go. One more. Great stuff right there. Back in the bit over rows. Here we go. Keeping our lower back nice and straight. Bringing it up. Squeeze. Back down. Squeeze. Back down. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale as you pull the dumbbells up. Boom. Let's go. Here we go. Back in the modified burpees. Come on. Push yourself here. Let's go. Count off how many you can get. Come on. Push it. Let's go. One more. All day. 20 seconds going in. The chest press or push ups and Russian twist. So, chest press, we're gonna be laying on our back. I'm gonna do push ups. If you can do push ups, do push ups. Chest press, right here, pushing up. Let's get some push ups. Push ups if you can. If you have to do your push ups on your knees, that's fine. Come on. Keep pushing. Breathe. Breathe. All right, we're going to Russian twist. We're going to be on our butt here. Grab a dumbbell if you want. Yes, please. Woo. Pull the dumbbell. Lean back a little bit. Side to side. Make sure you're not just facing straight doing this business. We're rotating our entire upper body here. Burn it up. Here we go. Back into push ups or chest press. The mat's coming apart. Let's get ready. Come on. Exhale as you extend the arms. Keep 
Keep pushing. You got this. Let those muscles catch fire. Come on. One more. Boom. There we go. Back to Russian twist. Feeling good. There we go. If you want to make it easier, just kind of sit more straight up, tougher. Bring it back even tougher. Pick those feet up. Come on. Ah, squeeze. Woo! There we go. 20 seconds. And then we're going into half rep curls. Ooh, those are always fun. And running lunges. So grab our dumbbells. We're going to start off half rep at the top. So bring them halfway up. We're just going to be here. Boom. We're not coming all the way down. Nope. Here, up, halfway down, back up. Woo! Pumping those bad boys full of some blood. Let's go. There we go, running lunges. So what we're gonna do, lunge position, left leg back, and then right here, and then what's like that, boom. Come up, bam. So the leg that goes back, that arm starts up. We'll switch sides on the next set. Boom. So explode. Explode. There we go. This time we're gonna do half rep curls, bottom half. So sort of with our arms slightly bent, not just hanging, slight bend, halfway up, back down. Here we go. Come on. Push it out. Whoo! It burns. <laughs> Here we go. Running lunge. Switching sides. So I'm having my right leg back this time. Right arm up. Here we go. So explode. Come back. Explode, come back. Boom. Boom. One more. 20 seconds. We're going into overhead tricep extensions and in and out squats. So, overhead tricep extension, grab one of your dumbbells, up and over the head. Extend, just like that. Here we go. Come on, come up, down, up, down. Push it out. Let's go. Come on. Try to keep those elbows in as best as possible. All right, in and out squats. Start with our feet a little wide. Squat, in, squat. So we're squatting on the in, squatting on the out. Throw a little impact, just here, 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 come back. Just like that. Let's go. Come on. Push it. Keep that back nice and straight. Woo! Overhead tricep extensions. Coming back up and over. I just got my heart rate up. There we go, come on. Coming up, down, up, down. There we go. Keep pushing, come on. Come up, squeeze, back down. Woo! And now squats. Keep pushing, come on. I know these are tough, but keep working. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, yeah, there we go. How fast can you go? Make sure that back is nice and straight. Run like this, like this. If you want to get your arms out, close. Bam, bam, bam. Woo! 
Oh yeah, that was a good one. All right, next one, I'm going into shoulder press and punch out. This one's gonna be fun. So, for shoulder press, curl them up, palms facing away, elbows in front of the shoulders. They're not here, they're here. Pushing up, coming back. Boom. Boom. There we go. If you want, you can turn, have your palms facing each other. That's fine too. Push it. There we go. Punch out. Get those feet nice and wide. Get those hips moving. Throw a flurry of punches. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Push it. Uh, come on. Here we go. Keep pushing. Uh, woo. Back to shoulder press. We're just staying on those shoulders right now. No rest. Here we go. Bring them back up. Pushing up. Down. Up. Down. Exhale as you push up. There we go. One more. Woo. Back to punch outs. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Ah, come on. Come on, push it. Ah. Drive with those legs too. Ah. Come on. Oh, burn those shoulders. Woo! Ah. Woo! Here we go. Eight super or seven super set we're going into is deadlift and then reverse lunge with tap. We're gonna tear those legs and glutes up here. So, deadlift. We're gonna do, keep the dumbbells in front of you. As we come down, just put our forearms right over our kneecaps, kind of let them slide down. Butt's gonna stay a little high here. Back needs to stay straight. Bending at the hips and knees. One more. There we go. Going into reverse lunge with taps, so get some space behind you. This time we're going to stay hinged at the hips, not at the lower back. We're going to kick a foot back, with that same side tap our foot, our front foot. Bam, bam. Notice how I'm staying down. I'm not coming up like this. I'm right here. Bam, bam. Keeping my weight on that front foot. Technically, I can just go like this if I wanted. Woo! Back to deadlifts. Here we go. Remember, back stay straight, lower back stay straight. Coming down, up, down, up. Keep that back nice and straight. Exhale as we stand up. One more. There we go. Reverse lunge with tap. Here we go, hinging at the hips, bending over here. Come on, bam, bam. Let's go, let's go. Come on, push it. You got it. Speed up, come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Woo! Way to push it right there. We're at that halfway mark. Next, we want in to reverse grip rows and clean pulls. Got a piece of fabric on my face. So, reverse grip rows, grab both dumbbells. Again, keep that back nice and straight. This time, palms are facing away. We're bringing the dumbbell up our thighs to the hip. Boom. Palms facing away. Elbows stay nice and close to the body here. We're not like this, we're right here. Bam, bam, bam. 
There we go. Clean pulls, drop a dumbbell. We'll do left side this set, right side next set. Nice little wide stance, my shoulder width, drop down, pull it straight up. Bam. Bam. So we're pulling it straight up. Notice how it's close to my body. It's not like this. It's right here. Back stay straight. There we go. Come back in reverse grip rows. I got a sweat starting to pour down. Woo! Here we go. Palms away. Bam. Bam. Come up, squeeze. Squeeze. Don't forget to breathe 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. All right. Uh, oh. We got clean pulls, right side. I was getting ahead of myself. Clean pulls, right side. So, same movement. Just dumbbell is in the right hand here. Boom. Boom. Let's go. Come on. Keep pushing. One more. There we go. Next one in the flies. And power glute bridge. Both movements are going to be on the ground. So, grab our dumbbells, get them out here. Lay down on your mat or on the ground. Bring them up. Slide bend in the elbows. We're coming out just like this. There we go. Let that chest open up. And then use the chest to close the hands back. Come on. There we go. I'm just gonna sit those like this. Power glute bridge. If you can do one leg, do one leg. Explode. If you can't do that, do both legs and just push up, squeeze, come back down. If you can do one leg, just try to get up as fast as you can. Boom! Back down. Boom! Back down. If you can explode, that's cool too. One more. There we go. Woo! Going back into flies here. Hands up. Slide in the elbows. Coming out and then back. Out and then back. Push it out. There we go. All right, for the glute bridge, we're going to switch sides. If you're doing both legs, then just keep doing both legs. Here we go. So, explode. 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 Boom. Just like that. Woo, squeeze the glute when you get up there. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. One more. There we go. Woo. Next we're going in to hammer curls and 90 degree squat hops. So kick that off. I'm going to leave that right now. So for hammer curls, dumbbells. Palms are going to be facing towards each other right here. Coming up, back down. Up, back down. There we go. No wrist movement here. Come up, squeeze. Come on. There we go. 90 degree squat hops. What we're gonna do here, start with feet wide, drop down, come up, bam. Bam, lower impact. We're gonna squat and tap. Boom. Still getting that little turn in. Just like that. Come on. Keep that back nice and straight. Come on, keep pushing. You got this. Here we go, back into hammer curls. Woo! Push it out. Don't 
forget to breathe. Keep going. Drop into the squat. Bam. Bam. Let's go. Keep pushing. Woo. There we go. Way to push it. All right, next, we got lying tricep extensions and mountain climbers. So, both on the ground here. For this, I'm gonna use two dumbbells for the uh, tricep extensions. So, get those put on our backs here. Woo. And then, hands up, coming down, and up. There we go. Dumbbells should come down over your head. They shouldn't be here. They should be here. Here we go. All right, all we're gonna do here, flip over, get in plank position, mountain climber. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. If this is too tough, then just do plank jacks. Like this. There we go. Come on, come on. If that's still too tough, I want you to drop down to your knees and do alternating knee to elbows. Like that, get some abs in. Here we go. Going back in to lying tricep extensions. Gotta keep moving. Here we go. If you want it, you can also just do a single dumbbell of these. Kind of like overhead tricep extensions, just like that. Here we go, back in to mountain climbers, or plank jacks, or some abs, whichever you can do. I just want you to keep moving. Here we go. Come on, come on. Try to keep that head up. Come on, come on. Push it. Oh, 20 second break. Next one into lateral raises and step out. Both standing. So lateral raises is gonna be a little tough for me. These are a little heavy, but slight bending elbows coming out, coming back. Woo! Here we go. If it starts to get too heavy, you can alternate left and right. Or you can kind of cheat them, get some momentum up, slowly lower them, just like that. There we go. We're going into step outs. So what we're going to do is kind of pick a spot out in front of you. We're going to tap, just like that. There we go. Come on, come on. Work those arms. We're not sitting here doing this. Come on, come on. Work those arms. Work those arms. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Woo. So what I do on those are tie outs 12 inches wide. So I stand on one piece of ground, tap out to the next. Back in the ladder raises. Here we go, come on. Oh, push it. Come on. One more. Woo. That was a tough one right there. Back in the step out. Keep going. Let's go. You got this. We're almost done. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Work those arms. Come on. Woo! There we go. All right. Next, we got lateral lunges and linear jammers. 
So just take one dumbbell, pull it up into a goblet squat position or goblet position, whatever right here. We're gonna drop down, come up, other side. Here we go. Up and down, up, down, up. Make sure you're keeping that back nice and straight. It's okay to lean. As long as that lean is happening at your hips and not at the lower back. Try to stay on your heels. There we go. Linear jammers. Left side first. Dumbbell in the left hand. Left foot back. You got a split stance. Go in here. Push up, come down. We're just down this side the entire time. Let's go. Push it. Push it. Come on. Woo! All right, same thing for the lateral lunges. Hold it here, alternate sides. For the linear jammers this time, we'll switch to the right side. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Come on. Ah, try to drop a little lower. Oh, yeah. Woo! Come on. One more. Ah. Linear jammers, right side. Get that split stance, dumbbell in the right hand, right foot back, bring it up. Let's go. Keep that core engaged. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Uh, uh, one more. Uh, woo! There we go. Alright, last one. We got showing hops, full jump ropes. So, grab our dumbbells, shoulder hops. We're gonna get a little hop in as we hop. We're gonna shrug when we land, slowly let the shrug out. Here we go. So, if you can't hop, because maybe you're on another floor, and I want you to come up real fast into the calf raise. Come down. Just like that. When you land, don't let your shoulders just fall. Try to hold that weight up. Here we go. Next one in the full jump rope. So, like we're jumping rope, but we ain't got no rope. We're just gonna hop around here. If you live on second floor, I want you to do calf raises. Bam. Bam, you can even alternate left, right, left, right. Just try to speed them up if that's what you're doing. Here we go, come on. Even if you're doing a full jump rope, you can kind of alternate feet right here. You can do some on one foot, some on the left foot. Here we go. Back in the shoulder hops. Here we go. Come on, push it out. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Woo! There we go. Full jump ropes. And we're done. Here we go. Let's push it out. Come on. For a second, let me grab some water. We'll get a nice little cool down, stretch out our legs. And then we'll wrap this thing up. So, first thing I want to do for the cool down is actually go back to the downward dog. That way we can stretch out our calf with a bent knee. And then we're going to transition to some quad stuff. So, from here, just like this. Try to slow that breathing down, keep that head up. If this is too tough for you, then go up against the wall. Something that you can push and help stretch that calf. But do it with a bent knee, not a locked out knee. Right here like that. 
kind of slowly stretch it out. Use the wall to push. I'm going to hang out here for about 15 more seconds. Remember, control that breathing. Let's get one more on this side. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to do the hip flexor stretch. So let's put that left leg out. Then what we're going to do is drive. First, tighten that glute up on this side. Squeeze your glute, and then from here, begin to push forward. That way you can really feel it stretch in that hip flexor. And then from here, what we're going to do is I like to drive my hips down towards that front heel right here while maintaining that glute squeezed or contracted. There we go. We're just going to sit here. Woo! Let that hip lo loosen up. If you want, you can kind of rotate it and let it open. Feel it more wrap around into that groin. See what you need that needs maybe a little more stretching. So kind of move it around, let it open, see how tight it is there. Close it back up. It's more on the outside of the hip. You're going to try to control that breathing. We'll go, we're going to switch sides this time. So, right leg out, squeeze the glute, squeeze the glute, and then sink forward. Here we go. You'll notice if you squeeze the glute when you're right here, and then you press forward, you can't move as far. So, once I squeeze, sitting straight up, it's only like, like three inches I can move. But if I release the glute, and then push forward, Man, I can move all over the place. Tighten that glute up. It's going to give you a better stretch on the hips. There we go. Again, kind of let that, your hips kind of open up. Feel it stretch more in the groin if you want. I should have brought my little towel over here. I done messed up. There we go. If you need to, reset. Tighten the glute. Come back. There we go. All right, next. I wanted to go into a seated straddle. So what we're going to do is get in this kneeling position right here. And then we're just going to slowly sit back. <sighs> Try to rest onto our heels. <sighs> so I've had a couple knee surgeries on my, my left knee. And it's got a pretty good amount of arthritis and a uh, serious lack of uh, range of motion. So sitting on my left leg. Man, I can feel it from like here all the way down to my knee. And so doing this kind of helps me increase or at least maintain that range of motion. If it gets a little too tough, just come right here on the all fours, give it a break, sit back down into it. If this is too easy for you, then what I want you to do is actually kind of lean back and you can kind of put your hands or knuckles onto your heels or feet like this and then try to push your hips up or you can even push further back and then again try to kind of squeeze your glutes engage the glutes get more quad stretch going on heck for all i know you can probably lean back all the way if you have a bench like i got back here another option you could do is to come right here like this and then stretch them out one at a time like this and you're gonna feel a big stretch in your quads like that here we go so that's that one. Next, what I want to do is kind of sit into some lateral lunges here. So what I want us to do is come down to the right, and I want you to just try to hang out right here. Give it maybe a 10 count, feel the stretch right here if you want. You can lift that leg, but I actually like to try to keep my foot and toe on the ground so I can really feel it coming all the way down here, and I feel it in the groin on my other side. So just hang out here, try to breathe. Sink down. All right, we're going to come up. We're going to switch sides. Whew. Kind of take note of where you feel the stretching and everything out. Maybe you feel a little bit of pain, something that might need a little bit of work later. Go back and work on it. Whew. Especially if you feel big imbalances. Whew. We're going to try to sink into it a little more. Make sure that you're maintaining a nice straight back here. Whew. There we go. Come up, and now I want to do just a deep squat sit. So, what we're going to do here, 
is just try to slowly drop in to a squat to where we're sitting. And then we're just going to try to maintain that. Just see if you can sit here and hang out. Wipe some sweat off if you need. Another thing I like to do when I'm doing these sits is actually take, take my fingers and kind of put them under my toes here and then put my elbows on the inside of my knees and force my knees out while I'm sitting here. And then also what I can do is I can pull my butt down now so I can try to engage into a deeper sit. Keep that back straight. This is really going to help us with our range of motion on squats, maintaining proper form, keeping that back nice and straight. Have you had to get up yet? <laughs> See if you can sit there for just a couple minutes, hang out. Later, not right now. We're done with this now. <laughs> Alright, last thing I want to do is just some chest stretching. So what I like to do is grab a wall here and then just kind of rotate, pull my chest open. Really feel it open up right here. Because you'll notice sometimes when you are exercising or you exercise a lot without stretching, you kind of get this like hunched or rolled. And it could be that you just sit like that too often, so your back muscles are too loose, or maybe you do it for men a lot of times. You do too much chest, not enough back. What happens is your chest tightens up and wants to roll your shoulders forward. So I always like to get a good chest stretch in. Make sure my posture's my posture's nice and nice and right. There we go. I'm going to switch sides here. You don't have to overstretch this. Just right where you can feel your chest starting to stretch out real nice. And then as we're going through the stretch, just kind of push it a little further. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. All right, there we go. That's a nice little cool down. Legs feel nice and loose again. Chest is nice and opened up. That's what I'm talking about. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. If you did, smash that like button and I'll see you on the next one. See you guys.